It's here. It is here. I actually think I might throw up. I am so nervous. Okay. Let's go get the mail. Well, my boxy charm is here. Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I might cry. I'm probably going to cry. Oh, and you guys don't even know what it is, but I do. Oh. Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Planty Mama and I'm also anxiety ridden at the moment. And <sighs> so I haven't even posted the video that I meant to yet. So today is October 11th. Um, and I have a video that's going to go up before this and it is that video is going to be the most expensive plant that I've bought to date. Um, little did I know two weeks later I was going to spend more than that. Um, so I've officially hit the top of how much I've spent on a single plant. And I also have placed two import orders this month. One is a very large, rare haul that hopefully will be here by the end of the month. And the other one just shipped today, and that's going to be a rare Hoya haul. And I mean, at the end of the day, they're really good deals. But if you don't buy a lot, it's not really worth it to invest that much money into shipping. You know what I mean? Um... And yeah, so basically what happened was I decided that I wanted to purge some things because I need to bring all of my house plants that are outside inside. Like I've got probably 15 to 20 Hoya. Um, I have got a huge hanging basket of golden pothos. I've got a huge philodendron salome and I also have a Monstera Deliciosa in a huge gallon bucket that I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do with these plants. Um, so I've been purging plants that just don't do it for me anymore. And I purged them on my Facebook page, like my public Facebook page. And I sold over $400 worth of plants. What? Why does he always do this when I'm filming? Always. BRB. Anyways, so I sold over $400 worth of plants. Like, I am shook. Um, so I was talking to my husband about it, and I was like, I honestly didn't expect to sell this much. And I was wondering if you would be okay if I got a huge wish list plant. Uh, because I don't spend that much money without talking to him about it, and except for the plant for my last video. Oops. <laughs> and we made an agreement that whatever money I make off of selling my plants, I can get whatever I want. So I was able to place the order for this and the large rare, um, I would, I think they're all aeroids, aeroid haul. Um, I 
I'm so excited, you guys. I am literally so excited about this. So let me tell you a little bit about this plan. So like not describing it or anything, but like the story behind it. Okay. So when I first started getting into house plants, um, you guys know that I've, that I did a bunch of research on them. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I made a sheet about it. And so by doing all this research, I got sucked in the rabbit hole of all of these planty YouTubers. That's how I came across Plantarina, Harley G, um, and Summer Rain Oaks, Sharina Talada, and just like looking at their houseplant collections, like I don't even remember who I saw this plant on. Um, I really don't remember. I don't even think it was any of those people that I just listed. Um, but I saw it somewhere, either on a video or the first, like when I first got into the Time to, time to Splurge and Purge Facebook group. I saw it somewhere. Anyways, it has been one of the top wishlist plants for me. And I was never able to afford it. Like the price for this plant is astronomical, astronomical. And it's not very often that sellers will have like immature ones. Um, but my friend Jelly with Angel Houseplants referred me to one of her friends who was able to get me this plant for a fraction of the cost, including shipping. And I'm very grateful for Jelly. We have become very close and Brayden. So if you guys are watching this, which I know Jelly is, Brayden's probably not. He doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> um, I love you. Thank you. And I'm so excited to open this, you guys. Like, I'm not kidding. This is the top tier wishlist plant. Like, I wanted Monstera Albo and Philodendron Pink Princess more than anything. Like, those, because those prices were attainable for me, right? Like, I might have to save a little bit for them, but they were attainable. Well, I have both of those now. And this is the most expensive plant on my wish list. And I'm so excited. This has actually been at my house since it's been in my mailbox since before noon. And I have been terrified to open it. And it's six o'clock now, by the way. So it's been in my mailbox for a hot minute. It wasn't too hot today, though. Um, cause I've been so scared to open it, but I'm still scared, but let's dive into it. I'm actually going to lower the camera so that way you guys can see. Actually, no, I'm not. Cause I want you guys to see my reaction, my genuine reaction. Oh, by the way, I have no idea how to take care of this. I have to do research on that. So what do you guys think it is? Drop in the comments below what you think this is this is the size of the box so it's about 12 inches wide yeah it's 12 by 4 by 4 so what do you think's in it ah, i'm so excited okay oh my god i am so nervous Like, it's not like, like the last plant. Like, I was nervous to open the last plant because that was like a spur of the moment purchase. Um, and I wasn't sure how I felt about it when I opened it, but now I'm in love with it. Which, by the way, I'll go ahead and show you because this video is coming out after this one. But this is my Philodendron Billy Tide. And I'm obsessed with the crinkly edges the pink petioles and it's already putting out a new leaf for me which I don't want to pull the sheath back all the way but it's got a new leaf coming for me already and this was the most expensive plant purchase I've ever made but it's really gorgeous like the tips of it like the edges are pink 
it's just so pretty and I love it. I love her. So I've named her Billy, obviously, but I'm stalling. I am stalling like a motherfucker. Like, I wasn't sure if the Billy was going to live up to my expectations, but. Pause. Stop what you're doing right now and make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for me. And don't forget to ring the bell. So that way you are notified of all of my amazing videos. Apparently I'm improving <laughs> on my editing skills. So make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and to be in awe of the plant that you're about to witness me unbox. It's in my hand right now and I'm still shaking, still shaking. Continue. My kid was traumatizing Daisy. I'm sorry, girl. You okay? Like, if you can hear, like, that smacking noise out there, that is the Melissa and Doug, like, broom and dustpan kit. And he has the stand, and he's just going around and banging it against stuff to scare the animals. He enjoys terrorizing Daisy the most. Anywho, back to this. I keep stalling because I'm so fucking nervous. Okay. This is how it's packaged. I like that the peanuts are around the actual plant. So I don't have to worry about them falling all over the place because that's really annoying for me. Um, but okay, so here it is. It, it's in a container inside of this, like something all the way up. This is the packaging and this is from Aeroids Unlimited. So Aeroids Unlimited, I'm not sure if he has an Etsy or if it's his Facebook, but you should search for Aeroids unlimited. So if I can find it, I will link it, link it in the description below for you. Okay. I'm so nervous. You guys. Like I am shaking. Yeah. So there is cardboard okay so here is this it has fluff on the top and the bottom and it's taped and also so we are going to do this I really need to get like a knife specifically for this and quit using my Cricut tools Okay, that's the top. I'm so nervous. Still, I'm so nervous. Okay. So, oh, oh, maybe that wasn't the top. Whew. Dean, leave her alone. Okay, you guys, here she is. And you can't even see it. Um, this is a, oh my God. I never thought I was gonna have this plant. Oh my God. This is, an Anthurium warwakianum, otherwise known as the Queen Anthurium. <sighs> oh my God. Would you just look at this? She is velvet, like velvety. Um, 
the seller didn't know if she was a dark form or not because I guess you can't tell until they get a little bit bigger but the dark form is long and the leaves are like almost black um like are the leaves perfect no but I mean who's perfect like she'll grow and she'll prosper I'm so fucking excited I cannot wait for you guys to see the hauls that I'm going to be doing this month. Like, they are intense. So we got that off. And it's like in a Dixie cup. <laughs> okay, so she is in sphagnum moss. You guys, this is my new anthurium. We're walking in them. I'm so happy, you guys. I'm also exhausted. I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent on it um, because I don't want it to affect the pricing market because the house plants from private sellers right now is ridiculous. But <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait for this to get huge, you guys. Like they get huge I will insert a picture of one full grown right here isn't that insane they're stunning if you don't think they're stunning then you're just wrong like you're just wrong oh oh my god you can even see that it's velvet oh I'm yawning. Sorry. Look, my eyeshadow even matches it. All right. Be honest, you guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Oh my God. So at the beginning of October, I'm going to do a September like rundown of all the plants that I've gotten it's the my list is ridiculous already but I am stepping up my rare aeroid game for sure Oh my God, I can't wait to show my husband. Like I'm literally, <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sorry I'm yawning. I've drank a pot of coffee today, you think I'd be good. By far, this is my favorite house plant, by far. <laughs> okay you guys um thank you so <laughs> thank you so much for watching my youtube video <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. Ring the bell and all of that. And follow me on Instagram. My planty Instagram is going to be right here. That was way out of tune. I'm sorry. I'm usually always out of tune. I just, I couldn't catch a tune to save my life. Um, yeah. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with all of the planty mama antics. There is for sure going to be a picture of this bitch on there ASAP. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I cannot get over this. I can't. Oh my God. Head check. So she's a baby. Okay, for real. Um, all right, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.